Good morning. All right, I want to start right now with kind of the bad news, and this is our drought and looking at our rainfall departure to date. So the month of November, I know we're only two days in, but since we haven't had any rain yet, we're officially already behind compared to what we should be for normal. So 13 hundredths behind. This is the big key one, the fall season. That started meteorologically on September 1st. We're talking the whole months of September, October, and now just another two days into November. We are seven and a half inches behind in rainfall for the entire year, 6.89 inches. So if you kind of look at that, that deficit is less than the fall deficit. So when we entered the fall season, we were a little bit above normal, and then the fall has really wiped us out as far as creating that short term drought that's been in place. I mentioned this yesterday. I'll say it again. This has been the second driest September and October on record in Chattanooga. Only one other duo of months that was September and October of 1938 have had less rainfall than what we had the past two months. And unfortunately, when we look at this first week of November, we don't have have much help on the horizon for that drought. So when we look at Thursday all the way through Monday, no rain chances. Of course, that's good news for your outdoor plans. We'll have some beautiful weather, but we do need some of that rain. Tuesday, Wednesday for next week, those rain chances keep going down. It looks pretty slim to none, maybe a 10% chance for a couple spotty showers. Thursday of next week, we're going to be keeping an eye on a front that possibly could bring us some rain, but at this point, it's just really too early to be confident in that. So I at least wanted to give you that update. I know people have been asking me that on Facebook if we have any rain chances on the horizon, and it's just not very much for the next week ahead. All right, as far as temperatures go, let's talk about that for this morning because it is cold outside and below freezing. We're seeing most of our communities in the 20s right now. 30 in Chattanooga. Altamont has had a little bit of an adjustment to 30 degrees as well. 28, though, in Scotland. Dayton, Cleveland coming in at 23, 25 in Athens. No wind, so we don't have to worry about the wind chill, but it is certainly cold anytime you're talking about those temps in the 20s. So bundle up this morning. That's going to be the case at 6, 7, and yep, still 8 o'clock in the morning with the below freezing air, 28 at that point. Sunny and cool for lunchtime, 48 degrees. The sunshine is going to continue all day long, so it will look beautiful outside. And this afternoon will be a little bit milder, slightly warmer than what we had yesterday, 58 at 3 o'clock. 57 at 6 p.m. and then cool again, of course, by this evening at 9 p.m. back down into the 40s. A light breeze from the south today at about 3 to 8 miles per hour. Here's a check of our clouds and radar. And what you're going to notice is we have clear skies right now. It's beautiful if you want to step outside and check out some stars and planets. High pressure really dominating the southeast, and that will be the story in the days ahead as well. So here's today that light breeze from the south. High pressure shifts right over our area on Friday. Sunny skies once again for Friday. That milder air in the 60s. Saturday, highs reach the upper 60s to around 70 degrees by Sunday. Yep, still channeling the same thing. That quiet conditions highs on Sunday in the low 70s. So today, 59 for your high, sunny. That's a little bit warmer than what we had yesterday. Tonight, 33 around freezing again. It's going to be cold and clear. And then tomorrow, 65 plentiful sunshine, mild and pleasant for the last day of the work and school week on Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, it really does look like it's going to be beautiful for the weekend. Cool in the morning time. You get that warmth in the low 70s for your afternoons on Saturday and Sunday. And of course, time change this weekend as well.